The other thing about the violence in Kaku and other people that had were injured and their arms were cut off and they're stabbed. We have all these situations where people are stabbed in the stomach in the middle of Neve Shanan and they're refugees. These are asylum seekers. These are not Israelis are being stabbed. We know from learning from every place around the world, the first generation of migrants, and these are not migrants, but the first generation of migrants are not involved in crime. They're too afraid to be involved in crime. Same thing here. These people are so scared. They won't be involved in any violent action towards Israeli. True, they might steal your, your mobile phone. They might be involved in petty thefts, which is true. I mean, nobody can deny that. But on the other hand, you, the, the situations of, of where people are being raped as, they, as we are being here on, on and again, we know the police publish every rape. So I don't know, within the last 10 years that they've been here, how many rapes have we heard and not, some of them turn out not to be a rape? What are you talking about? Five, six, seven? We're not talking about large numbers. When I walk down the South Tel Aviv, I feel more protected there than I do here with all the bars in the area because sometimes when I come back home, two o'clock in the morning, it feels my child feels much more threatened walking down here than she does there. When I'm in the South of Tel Aviv, I feel threatened only by the people that, for some reason, at my age, wearing a coat, decide that I'm a prostitution and I constantly have offers walking down Haotzion and it's like, it's on a regular base, I'm used to it, it no surprise. The same person would never address me walking down Dizengoff, but he, he allows, you know, it's okay to ask me if I'm a prostitution when I'm walking, not even standing in Haotzion or wherever that is. That's the fear I have. And the other thing I wanted to mention is, in the police statistics, the, the number of the violent incidents, first of all, they, they lump into that. Foreign workers, tourists, everybody that is not Israeli, they lump in everything to all together. They do not separate between asylum seekers. So we know into the, all that jump group of people that they lump in together, we know that the percentage of violent case situations are less. But this is something ridiculous that I learned once Kaku was this stab each incident of violence even the asylum seekers are the victim of it there the statistic counts it so Kaku stabbing is counted as an incident of violence Awad's arm being chopped up is an incident of violence and nobody tells you that the violence was toward the asylum seekers so the system is really out there to portray them as criminals and as, as a violent people and nobody is speaking about, for the, for example, that you know you hardly have any violence in Cholot. When Cholot was open, the the the, the uh, kibbutzim and the moshevim around were very concerned. Now they're going to have the violence from South Tel Aviv moved to their place, and they started building up fences and having all kinds of electronic devices to prevent the violence that happened there. And I keep saying that not even a chicken was stolen from the hen like the Palmachnikin did. They didn't do they. No, no incident of violence, and these people wander around the desert all day. So you can say you can uh, you can claim they're not supervised all day. And within Cholot, there's hardly any incidents of violence between themselves. And these are people put in a pressure situation. Ten people in the same bunker bedroom. There's no violence there. These people are not violent. I remember after Nitsana, I was very upset. I, if, in the situation where if it was me, I, I was there, I felt like I would be want to be violent against the police enforcement there. Because, and I remember asking one of them after I met them in September, how did you keep yourself so, uh, how, what would the word be? It's restrained. restrained. And the answer was that he didn't hesitate. We're against violence. You know? We ran from violence. We do not want to be violent people. We do not want to use violence as a, as, as, as a method. And it's true. It's true about these people. It's just true. I mean, it, it might be stereotyping, but in general, these people don't use violence.